Hi, and welcome to the Banco's Tech Talk video series, looking at everything happening in FinTech. We're filming on location at Mars Discovery District here in Toronto. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor of The Banker, and I'm here with Jake Tyler, CEO of FinAI. Jake, thanks so much for joining us Great today. To meet you, Can you tell us a little bit about FinAI and what it does? FinAI is a personal banking and financial management assistant powered by artificial intelligence. I think Siri or Google Assistant, but just for banking. We work, we're a white label only platform. Uh, we work with banks and credit unions around the world. We speak English, French, and Spanish. I don't, our assistant does. Uh, and, and we're a team of data scientists, engineers, and, and banking industry experts working specifically with banks. Okay, there seems to be a lot of competition in this space. Who would you say are your main competitors and what differentiates you? So we're in, in for, for mid-size and larger banks, we're competing against established tech vendors, so folks like Watson, Watson and, and Microsoft, um, and then some fintech players like us below that. The, the key differentiator in that, in that landscape is that we only do this for banks. Um, we, a lot of what we do works out of the box. We've built our entire stack, um, entire machine learning and natural language understanding um, and banking personalization stack specifically for banks and credit unions. Our team is entirely dedicated to this use case. Um, that gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of tooling. We have a data model that is very specific for this that already includes hundreds of thousands of utterances. Um, the net benefit is um, we are very, very specialized. What we do works in production. Uh, that means we can get it to market faster for banks. We can get it to market um, doing things that work um, and we can help uh, and help extend those things over time. So how do you think that artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, how is that really going to change financial services? So, so for us, um, it, it'll change the banking experience in, uh, in really kind of three areas that we hit on. Uh, the first is it will simplify banking, enabling customers to interact with banks via simple natural language conversations, and it will mean that you can bank in places you already spend time. So Facebook Messenger, uh, embedded into Amazon Alexa, embedded into Google Assistant. Um, so that, that's, a, that's a big first step. The second is you'll, uh, your bank will do more than just transactional banking. So that's good for banks because they'll build a, more, a deeper, more personal relationship with you. Um, and it's good for you because your bank will help proactively help you plan and take action to improve your financial life. Uh, and the, the third is, uh, is, is a change in um, the operating cost model for banks. Um, so for us, we augment human customer care agents with AI, um, particularly addressing high frequency, relatively simple routine tasks, moving that to software from humans. Okay. And how, what are the main challenges really for banks deploying chatbots? Uh, I, I think it's a matter of finding somewhere to get started. Um, uh, for us, we've started on the core transactional banking, that, so the things that you do most often. We're deploying that with uh, one of our customers, ATB Financial, into Facebook Messenger for the first time. Um, and that'll happen on, on, on Monday is a public launch open to their 700,000 plus customers. Um, we have a number of other production launches ready, uh, ready this year. I think the biggest challenge when we talk to our customers and, and prospective customers is just finding where to get started and what those immediate use cases are. So would you consider yourself to be a disruptor or an enabler for the banks? We're definitely in the enabler space. We only work with banks. Um, we're white, white label only. Um, we uh, like the disruptor side of things, but I, I, when we looked at this opportunity, we think the way to be a really big player and have a big impact at a global level is to work with banks. We can leverage the things that they do really well around having lots of customers, having lots of data, um, dealing with regulation and risk and, and, and those kinds of pieces, um, and focus on what we do great. And that's, uh, that's the, the synergy that we look to do uh, and, ha and have had a lot of success. I think also, um, uh, you know, banks have this really big installed customer base. So as we think about a world where data, volume and quality of data is important, um, banks, banks have a, a very strong position to start with. So we're, um, that's, that's why we've decided to work with them instead of battling um, to take market share from them. Great. Thanks so much, Jake. Thanks a lot for having me. It was a pleasure.